On this Valentine's Day, a family in Fort Worth has put their hearts into the fight against sudden cardiac arrest, or SCA. Fox 4's James Rose shows us how. We celebrate um, Valentine's Day not only because it is heart day and it's Valentine's, but because my friend actually suffered sudden cardiac arrest on Valentine's Day in 2007. The Grant family in Fort Worth is determined to educate friends and neighbors about the reality of sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac arrest is where your heart actually stops beating and um, your vital organs within minutes stop working. The Texas Heart Institute says 250 to 450,000 people each year experience sudden cardiac arrest and 95 percent of them die within minutes because they are either alone, too far from medical facilities, or with people that simply don't know what to do to help. We celebrate Valentine's Day because my godmother's heart stopped beating, but an AED um, made her heart beat again. Six-year-old Grayson Grant goes door to door with heart-shaped treats and a life-saving message. It's simple to use. Even a four-year-old can do it. To prove it, Grant let her then four-year-old Grayson demonstrate the use of an automatic external defibrillator or an AED on a test dummy. Apply pad to bare skin, exactly as shown in the picture. As you can see on this YouTube video, the voice automation is so simple a child can follow the life-saving directions. Everyone clear, press flashing button. Shock delivery. Neighbor Amy Brown now knows AEDs are simple to use and can be found in all schools, many public places, and doctor's offices. This will probably get me to take that next step. It's a great message and a great day to do it. Now, the American Heart Association says sudden cardiac arrest is triggered by an electrical malfunction in the heart that causes an irregular heartbeat, and that leads to the heart suddenly stopping. Now, if an AED is not available, experts say CPR does increase the odds of survival. Grayson's godmother, who suffered SCA, made a full recovery and went on to open a nonprofit organization called Starting Hearts. That organization is based in Colorado. Now, to find out more about her organization or sudden cardiac arrest, you can go to fox4news.com and click on links. Richard. Thank you, James.